You might remember that there was a hole between the keels where there was um, first salt water coming out and then like a handful of diesel and that I was worrying that it's actually a hole that goes right into my tank. Well, I looked at the plans of the boat and as I assumed um, the tank is part of the hull, so the bottom of the tank is actually the bottom of the boat. And then I checked the tank and there's like about probably 30 liters of diesel in there, so it's very unlikely that this hole is actually in my tank. Which is good because I was just about to unscrew these 50 bolts that hold the lid of my tank and I really didn't want to do it again. So instead of doing that, um, I thought that the other option would be that the hole is actually in my engine room. So I just poured um, a couple of liters of water into my engine room and look what's happening underneath. And there you go, there's water dripping out of the hole. So the hole is actually in the engine room. Um, and um, that means I have to clean the floor of the engine room. And because, uh, you know, if I'm cleaning the, the floor of the engine room, I might just as well clean my good old engine. So that's what I did. I put some degrease on it and uh, scrubbed it, brushed it, uh, and uh, made it nice and clean. I've been grinding for two weeks and I was getting a little bit tired of it so I actually decided to have a little Sunday sanding party because usually Sundays people you know take a little bit of time off and I thought I'll just walk around the marina and ask people if they might have an hour or two to spare to help me sanding so I organized four sanders from the marina and um, prepared everything I need to prepare the sanding discs because instead of using these expensive um, that you buy. Um, I bought some sanding paper and I'm gonna cut them out and then glue them to the sanding machine with contact cement. a couple of people over to help me and um, we sent it away and we nearly finished um, both sides so all there is left is to sand between the keels and the keels which is which is okay I can do that in two days and uh, it was a super great help fun because um, I actually met Ben and Teresa from Sailing Simplicity and the Pursuit of Happiness. Maybe you know that blog. Um, actually they're the first people I've met that I've known from the internet. Uh, that was nice. They had a whole bunch of own projects to do but they, came, they still came to help me which I appreciate a lot. So at the end of the day of course there's gonna be some beer for my helpers and we just uh, crashed in my backyard and had a little after sending party and it was it was beautiful 
it was really beautiful just to sit there. I have a, my personal palm tree in my backyard and I have to say that I the spot where Carl is sitting is actually pretty nice and um, I should have uh, backyard parties more often I think. Well, so that means in two days the sanding is going to be done. I didn't get it down to bare aluminum because the the primer is sticking so much to the to the hull that it was impossible to get it off, which is a good sign, I think. And um, I think I can paint over it. So I think the I think the the taking off the paint job is is nearly done now. And uh, next week you're gonna find out how it's gonna carry on with the uh, fixing of the holes. Huh? So stay tuned and see you next week.